How to speed up a Windows XP computer. Uninstall unused programs. You may be surprised what you find when looking at add remove programs. There may be software installed that you forgot about. It's recommended to uninstall any programs that you no longer use, or maybe you were just trying out a piece of software and never uninstalled it. Unused programs just take up drive space and make the registry bigger. To uninstall unused programs, click on Start, then click on Control Panel. From Control Panel, click on Add Remove Programs. Review the list of installed programs. If you find anything that should be removed, click on the program, then click the Remove button. Different programs have different uninstallers. Follow the on-screen instructions to remove the software from your system. Run the Disk Cleanup Utility. Windows XP collects all kinds of files that were temporarily used for various things, like installing software. However, Windows XP does not recognize when a file is no longer needed. Running the Disk Cleanup Utility takes care of that problem. Press Windows R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Type CleanMGR and click OK. On the Select Drive dialog box, C colon should already be selected. If so, click OK. A scan will start and takes a few minutes to complete. When done, you get a list of different types of temporary files. Mark the box next to each item you want to delete, then click OK. Click Yes at the prompt. The process of removing the temporary files will begin. Disable indexing. Drive indexing is useful if you are frequently searching for files. Otherwise, it's recommended to turn the feature off. Click on Start. Click on My Computer. Right-click on Drive C and select Properties. Unmark the checkbox next to Allow Indexing Service to index this disk for fast file searching. Then click Apply. From the prompt, select Apply Changes to Subfolders and Files and then click OK. The process of disabling indexing will begin. You may receive an error applying attributes prompt. If so, click the Ignore All button. This process may take some time to complete. Defrag the hard drive. Hard drives store files in continuous blocks, but over time, files get scattered or fragmented. This slows down access because the drive has to jump around and find all the pieces. Defragmenting puts the files back in contiguous blocks, making them faster to access. Think of it like organizing a messy desk to find things quicker. To defrag the hard drive, click on Start, Click on My Computer, right-click on Drive C, and select Properties. Click on the Tools tab at the top, then click the Defragment Now button. On this system, Disk Keeper opens. The default disk defragmenting program in Windows XP has a simpler UI. The process is the same. Clicking the Analyze button will check for file fragmentation and report back. Clicking the defrag button will begin the process of rearranging the files on the hard drive. Depending on how fragmented the hard drive is, this can take a long time. Detect and repair disk errors. Mechanical hard drives have been around for a long time. Certainly some are older than others. Over time, there may be parts of the drive that are no longer usable by the operating system. When those parts of the drive are accessed, it can take extra time to attempt to read and fail. This will slow down the computer as a whole. The solution is to run ScanDisk. This will test the entire drive and mark bad sectors so those parts of the drive will no longer be accessed. Click on Start, click on My Computer, right-click on Drive C, and select Properties. Click on the Tools tab at the top. Then click the Check Now button. Mark both boxes, then click Start. The process of checking the drive for errors will begin. Enable Write Caching. Enabling the hard drive write back cache setting can improve performance by making the transferring of data between the drive and memory more efficient. The only reason not to enable this setting would be if the drive is in a hot swappable drive rack, or if you expect the PC to be shut down incorrectly often. To enable write caching, click on Start, click on My Computer, 
Right click on Drive C and select Properties. Click on the Hardware tab at the top. Make sure the hard drive is highlighted on the list. Then click the Properties button. From the Drive Properties window, click on the Policies tab. Mark the checkbox for Enable Write Caching on the disk if it's not already. Then click OK. Disable Show Translucent Selection Rectangle. Windows XP includes visual effects that may consume system resources. To disable them, click on Start, right-click on My Computer, select Properties. Go to the Advanced tab and click on Settings under the Performance section. Choose the option to adjust for best performance or manually uncheck specific visual effects. If you are not attached to the Fisher-Price theme in Windows XP, you can deselect Use Visual Styles on Windows and Buttons. The more impactful feature to turn off is Show Translucent Selection Rectangle. On some systems, having to draw the outline of a box around the area being selected when you click and drag can cause slowdown. I recommend leaving this box unchecked. Optimizing the page file. When RAM runs out of space to hold active data, Windows XP temporarily moves some of it to the page file to free up RAM for other tasks. This enables you to run more programs or open more files than physical RAM would normally allow. By default, the amount of disk space used for this purpose is managed by Windows. The problem is when the amount of space needed changes, the size of the page file also changes. To avoid having to use system resources on this task, we can adjust the setting. To change the page file settings, click on Start, right-click on My Computer, and select Properties. Select the Advanced tab. Under Performance, click the Settings button. Select the Advanced tab again, and under Virtual Memory, select Change. Highlight the drive containing the page file, and make the initial size of the file the same as the maximum size of the file. There are different recommendations on what to set the size to. Windows chooses 1.5 times the amount of system RAM when it was first installed. That ratio is perfectly fine. Whatever size you choose, the initial size and maximum size should be set to the same number. Disable startup items. Many of the programs you install on your system set portions of themselves to run automatically when you start your computer. Each program that runs on startup not only consumes system resources, but also extends the length of time it takes for your PC to fully boot. Since it is generally unnecessary to have any program running in the background other than security software like virus scanners or firewalls, disable your unwanted startup programs to increase the startup speed and conserve system resources. To disable startup items, press Windows R to open the run box, type msconfig, and press Enter. Click on the Startup tab. Deselect any programs that you don't need to start with Windows. When done, click Apply and reboot the computer. Back in Windows, you will get a prompt from the System Configuration utility. Mark the box next to Don't Show This Message, then click OK. Remove the Desktop Background image. Your desktop background consumes a fair amount of memory and can slow down loading times of your system. If you are more concerned with performance than looks, remove the picture and go with a blank colored background. To remove the desktop background, right-click on an open area of the desktop and select Properties. Select the Desktop tab. Under Background, highlight None, then click OK. Turn off system sounds. Believe it or not, those obnoxious beeps and boops your computer makes for various system operations can actually affect system performance, especially during startup and shutdown. You can slightly boost performance by turning off Windows system sounds. To do this, click the Start button and select Control Panel. From Control Panel, double-click Sounds and Audio Devices. When the Sounds and Audio Devices dialog box opens, Select the Sounds tab. Pull down the Sound Scheme list and select No Sounds. Then click Apply 
and OK. Remove fonts. Having a large number of fonts can cause performance issues during startup. Maybe you downloaded a thousand font pack just to get a handful that you need, or you just don't want Comic Sans on your system anymore. Whatever the case, removing fonts that you never use can boost system performance. To remove fonts, click on Start, click Control Panel, double click on Fonts. This will open an Explorer window with a number of font files. Clicking on the font and pressing the delete key on your keyboard will remove it. Or you can drag and drop the font file to another folder. Disable fast user switching. Fast user switching is great if you have multiple user accounts that you switch between. Otherwise, it's a waste of valuable system resources. To disable fast user switching, click on Start, click Control Panel, double click on Users. Click on Change the way users log on. Uncheck the box for fast user switching. Disable automatically search for network folders and printers. Windows XP automatically searches for network folders and printers every time you open My Documents. And this takes time. To speed up folder opening, you can turn off network folder browsing. To disable automatically search for network folders and printers, click on the Start button, then click on My Computer. Click on the Tools tab and select Folder Options. When the Folder Options dialog box appears, select the View tab. From the Advanced Settings list, uncheck the Automatically Search for Network Folders and Printers. Then click Apply and OK. Disable any devices you never use. This particular system I'm working on has an internal modem that hasn't been used in many years and may never be used again. Ideally, the expansion card would be removed from the system or disabled in the BIOS if you're working with integrated hardware. The second best option is to disable it in Device Manager. To disable any device you never use, click on Start, right click on My Computer, and select Properties. Click on the Hardware tab at the top of the System Properties window, then click the Device Manager button. From Device Manager, Expand the device categories and select the device you want to disable. Right click on it and select Disable from the context menu. From the prompt, click Yes. The device is now disabled. This is a beginner's guide to speeding up a Windows XP computer. There are many more ways you can improve performance with Windows XP. Guides for advanced and expert level users are coming in the future.